William, a lot of developments to come. Thank you. And the Barber Komen redevelopment project would have stood as the largest redevelopment project in the city's history, costing upwards of $400 million. This marks the second time a deal to redevelop the property has fell through the cracks. In 2019, Rock Valley College backed away from a deal that would have brought its advanced technology center to the south side of Rockford. And with two major opportunities to redevelop the vacant building falling apart, residents now at the south side are voicing their frustration. 13 WREX's Emily McMinn has been talking with residents all day. Emily, tell us, what have you learned? Following last night's decision, this building behind me will remain in its current abandoned state for the foreseeable future. I spoke with community members here on Rockford's southwest side who expressed their disappointment over the vote. With Monday night's no vote, the project is added to the list of those that have fallen through for the Barbara Coleman redevelopment, forcing the community to say enough is enough. I feel that the community has been making plans and getting our hopes up high to have accomplished this building behind us and yet we're still, today's the day that we're still waiting for to see something happen in Rockford. I mean, change is needed for the Rockford community and hopefully it could all bring us together as one, you know. Despite the vote, one longtime community member is still just pushing for something to be done. If we have to go back to the drawing boards and figure out what we need to do with it because something needs to be done to it, you know, it's been there for since I was a kid. So um, it would be nice to see them actually come to an agreement to do something about that. And with the project located just minutes from the embassy suites, the community simply wants that same development to continue down to the southwest side. And for this uh, street to really be like a hot spot for us, you have the airport and things like that. So it's kind of like a main street. Um, so it's kind of like we want to or need to get this area, you know, together so more people would like to visit. And, you know, this can almost, it's almost close to the heart of the city, it's downtown. And when it comes to their disappointment and an attempt to move forward, the community just wants to be included. Just pay attention to the people. Don't turn it into a parking lot. You know, pay attention to what the people around here need, you know, um, you know, cater to the people, basically, you know. Stay tuned to 13 WREX as we continue to bring you reaction here on last night's decision. Live in Rockford, Emily McMinn, 13 WREX. Back over to you, Brittany. All right, Emily, thank you.